You're on Rescue TV with the wonderful Chris Smith ahead of Autumn Winter Show this evening. Yeah. This is your season. You're a cold weather boy. I am. I am. It's traditional for me. It's a, I, I had no other option growing <laughs> up in Manchester, but do you know, it's something I really adopted. I love the winter seasons. Don't get me wrong, the sunshine's amazing, but when it comes to fashion and being able to layer up, I think it just makes, gives everybody that certain little spin where they have to get imaginative and, you know, really use everything they've got. Do you actually update your wardrobe every season? Are you one of those guys that really gets amongst fashion and, I am. and actually updates their wardrobe? It, it, it happens. Uh, there's a few things in the show tonight which probably won't be there tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I do. I, I box summer stuff up and then I put it in storage. And then I leave that, and then I bring the winter stuff in. You, see, you never have enough wardrobes. With but all that and a girlfriend with a shoe addiction as well. It's that's it. I was going to say, a good husband or a good man is a man that understands that we need triple the wardrobe space yeah. to what you guys need. Oh, I've got that. And there's storage under couches and storage under beds and storage everywhere. Yeah, and there's a storage unit that we've got, but they're all still full. So if you had to pick like three essential things to add into your autumn winter, because not all men are blessed with being, you know, the face of a department store yep. uh, what would you say the top three edit would be for this season I don't think you can have a season going past without a great fitted suit yep. I, I think they're a must and an essential there's something that are always going to be used and what colors what fabrics blue is going to be massive what color blue uh, you, it's entirely up to you. You can go light blue if you're feeling really wow. daring. Ink has been huge right throughout the suiting range this year. Uh, and one of my personal favourites. And if you want to keep it subtle yet have a little bit of something that pops, drop it against a white shirt, a nice oxblood coloured tie, like a dark red. And then that's, you've got your subtle winter, but yet a pop of colour also. But it's quite polished too, so away from kind of like yeah. that casual look that's yeah, a bit it, more it polished. Yeah, it is. But it's the same thing, uh, that's what I try and tell people with suits. You can actually dress them up and down. If you're just going out, if you're taking your beautiful partner to a, on a dinner date or a nude date, wear a pair of trousers and wear a nice shirt, roll the sleeves up, make it a little bit casual. You can wear the jacket by itself, just with a t-shirt, different shirt, pair of jeans. So you can always utilize a suit it can always be used for something it doesn't always have to pair okay so we've got the suit what else do you update jeans or um... uh jeans yes De denim's always a big part of winter seasons and chinos I i've still got this chino thing going, thing going on. on yeah what color everything i think i've got just about every color but i, I generally go back towards a blue okay yeah i actually looked in my wardrobe and basically everything in there <laughs> is blue you know, there's a couple of black things and t-shirts and, yeah, blue. That's blue. cute. So you've got the blue. plaid Yeah, with there. the plaid pocket. Yeah, this is, this is just from Autonomy. Again, very affordable, very on trend, and, you know, they're just right across it. So um, tonight, what are you wearing? Tonight, my opening one is Autonomy. Now, Urban Sport is back. So it, it, it takes me back to my rugby You've league days. You've become so fashion. Where, I, I love it. <laughs> Urban sport is back. It, it is. And, that, and that's basically dressing sports up and down. Yep. So you can still get the comfort of doing that, but yet you don't feel like you're going out in your tracky ducks doing the shopping at the supermarket. Yes. You still feel cool. You still feel like you're in it. And that can be chinos, some nice, uh, got some Adidas high tops in there. But there's also a shirt and a tie. So the In the sports kind in of. The, in, the, in the sports area, yeah. Top button undone, loose, relaxed, cardigan over the top, then a big puffer jacket. And That's very Point really, Piper Yacht really Club, works. actually. Yes. Is that, that where could, you're seeking inspiration? That, that <laughs> could happen. That could happen. You could take that anywhere. You could take that down to the TAB with the boys and it'd be well received. It's just one of those looks that covers so many aspects. And finally, as your finale, is there an accessory or anything that you're going to be rocking this season? Uh, it, it's ties. I think ties are back in. So it's a monochrome look for the last one. A nice pair of jeans, it's all by politics, shirt, tie, and like a big over the top overcoat. Yeah, so it, it's a very nice look, it's very subtle, it's understated, it can take you a lot, it can take you from your daytime into your evening quite easily. You know what I like, when you talk fashion, it comes from a really good blokey heart, and I think that that's why the readers are happy to recommend what you recommend to their husbands, because you're not, you know, just a model, you know, mm. you're, you're kind of a man's man. Yeah. I'll, so I'll, it's good to hear it from your perspective. Thank you. I'm, I'm as blokey as you'll get, and you know, this is just something that really interests me, and there's no harm in making yourself look good at making yourself feel great you know absolutely up to you. so if you want to take some ideas to your man take Chris Smith's fashion direction because it's coming from a bloke's bloke absolutely thank you thank you thank you very much thank you very much lovely to see you